Hey guys, Johnny here with Speed Hut. Today we're going to do an unboxing video of our new standalone air fuel wideband gauge. So I've already gone on our website, gone through the customizer, and I added a STI logo to match my car and picked out the colors that would match my gauge cluster the best. So what's in the box? We have the gauge, the standalone unit, we have the wire harness uh, bag O2 sensor, the inverter, and the instructions. So let me show you what the gauge looks like. Let's get this spin lock ring off. So that's it. Little standalone unit. There's no extra controller needed like our current air fuel wideband gauge. We have the a five foot harness. Uh, coming off the back that's got your power ground, lighting, and throttle position sensor wires. You have your six position cable that connects to the harness cable and your inverter plug. So opening up the harness bag, you have your eight foot air fuel wideband harness. You have your inverter. We have our Bosch LSU 4.9 O2 sensor and the instructions. A uh, nice thing about our standalone unit is we have the ability to, we have a throttle position sensor wire which allows us to hook that up to the throttle position sensor unit in the car. That way you can set your high warning light if you're ever in a lean fuel a lean fuel mixture, a wide open throttle, that way the gauge can tell you when that happens. There's also a set of warning lights for low and high regardless of the throttle position sensor. A nice thing about this gauge is we don't require a free air calibration. We automatically calibrate the sensor every time you turn it on. Therefore there's no reason for you to do a pre calibrated setup before or even during the life of the sensor. It will always calibrate every time you turn on the car. And I think that's it for our air fuel wideband gauge. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and this is available now. Good.